Platinum is one of the four internationally recognized precious elements and it has a unique charm thanks to its color, its density and its purity. But how to cast it properly? How much does a Platinum 950 or 900 casting differ from a gold or silver casting? In this video we are going to see the most remarkable differences. Pure Platinum has a melting point of 1768 Celsius degrees. With such high temperatures at play, the alloy remains liquid for a very short time, as heat dissipation and solidification are very quick. This has implication on the tree design and on the investment and the crucibles, to name just a few of the aspects. Due to the short time available to successfully fill in a platinum tree, the spruce must guarantee maximum flow. Therefore, the tree has to be shorter than those for gold. The inner side of the flask has to be covered with a sleeve that allows further water to be drained. Some powder formulations on the market contain the acidic reactants directly inside the mixture. This allows them to avoid limitations to transportation as dangerous goods with a performance similar to traditional phosphate bonded investment. It is very important that the flask, once poured, stays for some hours on a bed of investment powder in order for the water to be drained before being sent to the actual burnout. Also available is a water-based phosphate bonded investment. Here, preparation of the investment is simpler because it just needs to be added with water and doesn't need to be drained for a long time. The reaction enabling the mechanical strength starts at room temperature. It is compatible with platinum casting, although it is slightly less resistant from the thermal point of view and may result in lower surface quality with high temperature platinum alloys. So what about crucibles? Zirconia coated silica or silica are the refractory materials to be used as crucible for platinum casting. It is important to use crucibles in good conditions without cracks or breakages. During the casting phase the metal should stay in contact with the crucible for the shortest time possible. So right after the metal is completely molten the pouring should start. And now we have arrived to casting. Rather than just reading the reaching of a correct casting temperature through the probe, as we do in gold or silver, a well-working rule of thumb for platinum is to wait for the metal to be just completely molten and mixed, then count to 6 to 10 seconds depending on the amount of material being molten and just pour it. Regarding investment cool-off and quenching. The cool-off time goes from a couple of minutes to a maximum of 8 minutes. When the material has lost its red heat on the main sprue button, it can be considered okay for quenching it. Pay attention that some alloys may undergo a hardening where kept for a long time before quenching, so we suggest to keep them as low time as possible, generally from 2 to 4 minutes. 
Pickling can be done using a hydrofluoric acid solution at 20% at a temperature between 40 and 50 Celsius degrees for 15 minutes. Scraps can be cleaned, as done with gold or silver, in a steel needle tumbler for 20 to 30 minutes, or better, sandblasted. What about reusing scraps? Well, from our experience, Platinum 950 alloys that are correctly cleaned and without any dirt may be reused in a ratio of 50-50 fresh to scrap for a maximum of three times. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more hints on how to make your processing of precious metals easier.